Hello, Chin, and welcome to another episode of Spending Our Free Time Torturing Ourselves. This time, we're on our way to Algoy, a region you've never heard of within a region you have heard of, Bavaria. Algoy is generally known for its mountainous landscape, hearty cuisine, and beer that will have you believe in a higher power. But why regurgitate the Wikipedia entry when I can just show you? The impetus of this little excursion is the Algoy Panorama Marathon. I'm running the 18 kilometer Hörnerlauf, a course that runs 1100 meters straight up a mountain. But first, we need our race packets. It's hot, the kind of heat that saps the life force from your body. So you'll notice I've embraced the arguably douchebag look of tank top, tattoos, and trucker hat. I guess 36 is when I stopped caring. Our race packet pickup is at the Algoy Outlet, very obviously the sponsor of the race. There's no signage pointing out where in the story to get your bib, which felt kind of like a deliberate choice to get you to look around at things you don't actually need. With our packets in hand, we take the train one stop north to hike along the Gunzesriede Ach River. I spent the first half of the hike with my camera out, so you'll get that sweet cinematic slow pan from side to side before we switch over to the GoPro for some totally gnarly shots of walking. But hey, it's pretty walking. Nanny Hoozel. Musical montage. This unplanned John turned into a 10 kilometer excursion with 300 meters of climbing, finishing up at a beer garden. Exactly what any running coach would say not to do the day before a race. But, you know, YOLO. Do people still say that? YOLO? It's race morning and I'm reminded what I love about these small town races. You can get that last nervous pee out at your hotel, trot over to the starting line a couple of minutes before the start, and you're off without the pain of a bouncing bladder. kilometers in forward this is how we're breathing already
very little relief in this race. about the halfway mark just hit nine kilometers. This is the kind of stuff I really dig. Flowing a little uphill, but you can still run it. You're not just clawing up a mountain, cursing yourself for making the decision to do this dumb thing. You can run. With the ubiquitous sound of cowbells clanging into the deepest recesses of my melted brain, the most significant climbing is behind me. It's mostly downhill from here, with the exception of one sadistic motherfucker of a bump in the road. Then, it's a sprint over paved paths to the finish line and another medal for the wall. Yeah, it's a participation medal, but this shit's harder than T-ball. All right, now that I got my heart rate back down, something that isn't so troubling. I could give a quick impression of the race. Um, you know, there, there was a period in which I was going to do the ultra. The idea was I would do Innsbruck and then see how I felt and then possibly do the ultra here. I couldn't be happier that I did the 18K. That injury in Innsbruck was a blessing in disguise to say the least. Because um, I don't have the legs for this kind of climbing yet or perhaps I just never will because I'm bound to always live in flat areas um, but yeah it was a challenging race I struggled a bit in the first 10k just couldn't get blood good blood flow to my ankles or feet then about 9 or 10k in felt pretty good and was able to all the, I, I never had so many people pass me in my entire life but I was able to catch some people in that final eight to nine kilometers. So it's good. And glad to have a run under my belt, another medal, another excuse to travel, hit some trails I've never hit before. God, that sounded cliche. And now because I'm not running the ultra, I can go drink copious amounts of beer. And that's precisely what I did. Right after the stinkiest 20 minute bus ride I've ever ridden and a little pretzel to hold me over. Next time, we continue the Alboy fun by heading to the end of the train line, Obitstor, where we'll stay just outside in the village of Kornau for some hiking, paddling, more trail running, and a personal first for me, paragliding. Will I soil myself? Stay tuned to find out.